A talkative employee can be a blessing and a curse. It's always great when teammates get along and share stories. But there's a difference between camaraderie and someone who's distracting. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I was in Disneyland, so I had this burrito, right? I'm talking everything. Rice, beans, black beans, rice, you know, pico, with gallo. I don't know exactly what I'm saying. I don't know. But I'll figure it out. But anyway, so I'm in Disneyland. It's amazing. But that's the reason I'm in Disneyland. But these giant roller coasters, right? You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, so I'm at the top of this roller coaster. You know what I mean? And it's awful. It's like a master. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm not. I'm not enjoying the little things. I know it's a story that I tell people at work one day. And so I do it. And I think it happens. And I go downstairs to the coolest part. And that's Mickey's there, right? And he's telling me, like, oh, this happens a lot. I'm like, really? Yeah, character, right? Mickey, that's all I'm doing. And he's like, no, it's actually I'm afraid. So Mickey and I go to the bar, right? And we get sauce, but he's telling me I can borrow his Mickey pants, right? For the remainder of the day. And I was like, how do you know what to do that? That's super cool. I'm wearing Mickey pants. I'm not a pants running off me. I'm wearing your face. Are you Mickey? Are you Mickey? But the point of the story is that, um, yeah, I think the meeting at 4 should be moved to 4.15 because I have another meeting later and I'm going to have to run across in case it goes late. Here's how to tell your loud, talking, gossiping, incessantly chatting, and interrupting employee that they talk way too much. First, ask to speak to them in private. Then, use the Think Big methodology to deliver this feedback. Behavior. Outline the behavior or fact without judgment. Impact. Describe the impact this behavior will have on the team or company. And finally, get agreement. Open the discussion to how things can move forward from here. Here's how that discussion might go. Tyra, I noticed that you like to talk a lot during meetings and have long chats with your coworkers. And I worry that this gives the impression that you don't care for your coworkers' time or for maximizing your own productivity. And I'm just wondering if this is something you're aware of uh, and something that you'd be willing to work on. The best approach is to be straightforward and honest. Remember, feedback is a constant loop. So don't worry if they fall back into the habit of chatting. The point is to engage with feedback regularly so behaviors change over time. This is an ongoing process, so patience is key. Oh, that reminds me. I was waiting in line at the pharmacy this morning, and the guy behind me was getting so angry at the wait. So the pharmacist was like, "Sir, I'm asking you to calm down." And I was like, "Whoa!" I was kind of angry. So uh, he comes up and he's like, "Oh, I've been waiting for like an hour, and this chick has been waiting for like ten minutes about her. Like, what's up